So uh, what I wanted to do in this video, is just talk a little bit about Ruko Voditel, uh, why we use it, how we use it for our business and, and why we ended up using it in the first place anyway. So um, sort of uh, one year ago, uh, we, um, we looked at the, um, at the system that we had for our projects and uh, it really wasn't something that was working very well. Uh, we offer a variety of products in the, uh, mainly S for SEO and marketing agencies around the world and uh, they outsource a lot of their work to us. And so uh, we have, we essentially have products, uh, we, we essentially have services packaged as products. So we try to standardize different processes and, and come up with, with standardized products to offer these companies. And uh, we were using Excel sheets, we were using Dropbox, Soho, uh, we were using a bunch of different tools to try and come up with a system that worked for us. And uh, just sort of a year ago or a few months ago, um, it was probably 10 months ago or so, uh, we just figured out that we had to look for a different solution. Uh, we wanted something that was open source that allow us to look at the code and customize it for our needs. And um, we initially looked at uh, QDPM, which uh, was done by the exact same developers. And um, it, it was just looked like a, an outdated version. So, and we ended up finding uh, Rukovoditel, which is um, the software that we currently use. So we ended up finding that through Softaculos, which is obviously a, a very popular tool uh, for to install different applications. And um, we just ran with it. Uh, we, we started implementing it uh, in our process. Uh, we installed uh, we installed the free version on our server. We started creating all of the different products, creating all the different users, permissions, and things like that, just like they show you on um, on their website. And uh, we started looking at things that we wanted to do uh, that were custom. And so this dashboard, for example, is something that um, we, we built for, for Rokovoditel. It's fairly easy to create um, additional tools and things like that, which we have done in the past. Uh, and we are currently actually working on a, on a, a brand new version based on, um, based on a lot of the premium features uh, because it's just saved so much time. So what we ended up finding was that uh, we obviously needed some custom features um, on the platform, uh, things that um, only made sense for us because uh, because of what because of the work that we do, and so uh, we hired developers. Um, they were able to easily create new tools and things like that. And and right now it just made a lot of sense for us to buy the extension. Um, the extension is something that um, uh, we're going to use a lot. Um, a lot of the features like the online chat, the calendars, all of that stuff we were planning to build ourselves, and it's so much more efficient to just get their version um, and, and use something that is already built for this platform. So just to get an idea of um, how we use this, so we have different products. Um, they are primarily in the web design um, SEO uh, niche. And so we have, for example, we have all of the different products that we do. And for each product, uh, we have a variety of um, things here that you can look at. and then. Um, I, I didn't want to show you all of that stuff because it's obviously sensitive information from our clients, but uh, we, we have all of these products and then we have um, all of the users in the platform. And then basically what we do is we match those users with the, uh, with the work that they're doing based on those products. So um, then we have development things that we're doing development wise and we have a tasks dashboard, which we're obviously improving as well. And a lot of things that, we, that we've done, let me just go back here to the dashboard really quickly. And a lot of the things that we've done is um, just create additional tools, things like plugins, tutorials, themes, blacklists, and things like that, um, support tickets. We, we've built a lot of stuff for the platform uh, because it, some of the tools we just needed. But um, as the platform has been um, evolving by the on the developer side, um, we've just been trying to use as much of what they're doing as possible. And so we're very happy with it. Um, it's something that we've been using for a, a lot of months now, and we're going to um, continue to use it in the future. And um, yeah, we're very happy with it. And um, we, we would recommend this platform for anyone that um, has very specific needs uh, for, for project management and, and want to integrate a lot of different tools and things like that. So thanks for watching the video um, and hope uh, you liked it. Thank you.